Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. Um, last video, we created our very first project inside the Visual Studio 2026. This video, I'm going to show you how to add extensions inside the Visual Studio 2026. A secret to boosting your productivity and making coding way more powerful. So let's dive right in. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2026 open here. So this is what you get when you open it first, obviously. So once you open it, there's, there's, um, there's something, there's a button here that says continue with our code here. Just click on that. So this will actually open a, um, a Visual Studio without any project here. Yeah? I've got um, code, um, GitHub code file, but obviously an empty solution. Okay, so um, extensions are just add-ons that bring new features in Visual Studio, from the debugging tools to themes to integration like um, GitHub and SQL Server. Basically, they let you customize your IDE to fit your workflow. Okay, so to install one, let's go to the extensions menu. That's the, uh, so if you look here, we've got the menus here. We've got um. Um, file, edit, view, um, git, project, and whatnot. So we, we select the extensions and then manage extensions. So here, as you can see, it's loading. So let's just give it a moment. So as we can see here now, we've got a bunch of um, extensions that we can use. Yeah. Like example, we've got a rich upper here. So this is the uh, productivity tool that will help you code and help you debug your um your project as well. Okay, so if you scroll down, we've got a bunch of tools that you can also use, like SQLite and SQL Server Compact tools. So this extension, this extensions for Visual Studio, this extension adds several features to um, help your embedded database development effort. Yeah, so you can also add this. So obviously there are tons of um, thousands of extensions that you can add to your um, Visual Studio. And if you look at it here, we've got installed. So once you install the extension, this is where they come. So basically, if you want to remove some, something, you select it, yeah, then uninstall it. Or you can select this certain button that so you click on Manage Extensions. You can disable the extension as well okay so this is all the extensions that you've actually installed and then if you want to update it yeah you go to the updates side here yeah? so these are the all the extensions that needs updating okay if that's not your case then let's go back to the browse yeah so for here you can even scroll down to look for whatever you're looking for. Most of the time, the reshaper is on top. But if that's not the case here, yeah, you can always go here and then um and then type in whatever you're looking for. Okay. So for this video's sake, here, let's go ahead and install. Let's click on the install reshaper. Yeah. So this will actually it will it will take you to their website. Then you download the installer so once you click on the installer this is what you get so basically these are the extensions um, from the um, uh, the reshaper developers that you can that you can add so as you can see we have got all of it skipped so you can select whatever that you want to install for this video sake we are selecting the reshaper so we can select our reshaper so if we look at it here so um what where, where we're actually installing it. So you can select um, the Visual, Visual Studio 2022 and then the um, uh, Visual Studio 2026. Okay. So let's remove that 2022 and then use the 2026 only. Let's accept the license in part and then click on next. So this will actually download. I mean, download everything that we need, and download and install any everything that we need. So installer has detected one or more running products. So it's actually saying that we're actually running our 
uh, Visual Studio. So we got to close the Visual Studio, then go ahead. So let's go ahead and install it. So as we can see here now, we've got the reshaper, got the update almost completed. So while it is updating, um, I will talk briefly about some of the um, top uh, extensions that you can actually install. So these are um, Visual Studio IntelliCode. So mostly there's some of the extensions, they come with the Visual Studio automatically. So Visual Studio IntelliCode um, is an AI powered code suggestion. And there's a C sharp extension. So this actually simplifies project structure and file management. There is also a GitHub extensions for Visual Studio. So this actually um, directly in, um, integrates GitHub. There is also um, SQL Server um, data tools. This is essential for database development. Um, there's also material icons. Theme. So this makes your ID look clean and modern, okay? And basically to, to manage your, um, and update the extensions like I showed you earlier on, go inside the extensions manager and then manage extension, extensions window. You can easily uninstall or update extensions from this window, okay? So I'll post the video while the whole thing completes. So now we've actually got a, a reshaper installation completed. So go ahead and create a new project by going files a new project. Okay. So you can go ahead and select uh, whatever projects that you want. So as you can see, um, for the extensions, I, I selected the uh, Microsoft um, SQL Server um, extension. So this that's the reason why um, the SQL Server database project has been added to the um, to the templates. Okay. So we can go ahead and select um, the SQL Server database project. Uh, we can go ahead and select the console app. So here we can create a console app here. Okay, so for some reason the console app is taking long to actually um, create, but I wanted to show you how um, actually added the reshaper to um to the Visual Studio, but obviously I've showed you how the um, SQL Server um, extension was actually added. Okay, so um, we we'll, I'll, I'll move on to the next video. So I'll continue I'll continue my next video from here. So um, I will explain whatever that I didn't explain in this video on my next video. And if you have any questions, please drop a line. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.